Alright, what's going on everybody? It's Smitty back with another Minecraft tutorial video. It's been a while since I've done one of these, but I'm going to start bringing these out on every Tuesday, I believe. So hopefully some people find these helpful. But anyways, today we're going to be going over different super smelter designs. First of all, what is a super smelter? So these, this is your traditional way of, of putting stuff in the furnace. You know, you, you throw you throw the coal in there, and, the, and then you just, you just have to throw the items in there individually like that. So basically, what a super smelter tries to do is it tries to make that process more efficient and kind of more automated. So right here is our first design. So with this first design of a super smelter, it's going to make things a lot easier for us. Instead of just putting things directly into the furnace we can actually put them into this chest up here so these would be the items that you want to smelt so I could just throw any smeltable item up there and it will feed itself into these furnaces and then on the sides you can put in the coal and then the coal will fill themselves and then the furnaces will just continually feed themselves and then the items will come out into this chest down here it's very nice and again like instead of only being able to put one stack in here you can fill up these entire chests so you can put a lot more items in this is the most basic super smelter let's get into how to build it quick okay so to build it you want to first by placing your two chests this is where all the items will be outputted into is, these, is this chest right here and then you want to put two hoppers like this on the back and then you want to put two furnaces just like this and then a furnace running into the side just like that and then two furnaces on top and then put a chest up here a double chest and there you go, that's, that's literally all you need. I mean, you can do this with one furnace too, it's really easy. And then again, remember, oh, we gotta put these chests right here, dude. Don't forget about those. And then remember, just the regular items just go up here. I really don't even have anything I could spell right now. But you know, if you had a cobblestone or something, you could throw it up there. And then again, the fuel source goes in through the side. And it actually feeds the furnace. So the stuff that'll get smelted from up here will go in and it'll go into the top. And then the fuel source will come in from the side and go on the bottom. So it's really nice. It's it's very easy to design. I mean, for how cheap it is, it really helps the smelting process. Is you can put a lot more items in there and it'll just go automatically. And again, if I had things I could smelt, they'd be going into this chest because the hoppers are facing into the chest. Make sure you have the hoppers right. But yeah, that's the easiest design. So let's let's improve upon this a little bit. Okay, so now we're going to expand upon this design right here. And this one literally just stacks the furnaces right next to each other. So if you want to stack them next to each other, this is what you can do. And up here, you can throw the items that need to be smelted. Again, I have no items that I can smelt, but you know, cobblestone. And in here, you put the fuel source. And again, that'll work. And if I had items, they would start coming into these chests down below because these are the outputs. But yeah, if you want to extend this system right here, I'll show you how to do that right now. Alright, so to expand upon that design right there, you just want to start off by placing your chest. So I'm going to place double chests just like this. You want to make sure they're facing this way. And I'll just place four of them right now like this. And then what you want to do is you want to take hoppers and place them going into each one of the chests, into the sides of each one of the chests. And then on top of that, you're going to want to place furnaces on top of those just like this. And then on the front, you want to place hoppers going into both the front of the furnaces and on top just like this. And then again, place your double chests up top and at the middle level. And again, those are your input valves kind of. And then again, the, the items that you want smelted. So I want I want this gold ore smelted. You can throw them in the top chest, that one too. And then again, you can throw the coal in the bottom chest. And again, you can just fill these entire chests up with coal and items to smelt. And it'll get to work. It'll smelt all of them. Once again, it feeds the gold in through the top and it feeds the coal in from the side. And then it'll automatically start smelting for you. And then this will be your output. And as you can see, it'll keep going until everything is smelted. So this is a really nice design. It's easy. It's very cheap. And it's nice that you can expand upon it really as long as you want. It's a little manual. A little too much manual for us, so let's get into a little bit more of a automated design right here. Okay, so this next design will only work on Minecraft Bedrock Edition. Because on Bedrock, you have the ability to push furnaces, which does not work on Java Edition. But this design does cause a little bit of lag, but nevertheless, it still works. So you can turn it on by flipping this lever right here. And as you can see, it really just rotates a whole bunch, a whole bunch of furnaces around on kind of a piston feed tape. And once again, the fuel source will go in this chest right here in the middle. So I threw my coal blocks in there, and then up here you can throw in the items that you want to be smelted. So I can throw stone in there, and then it'll fill in all these furnaces, and of course the output chest is right here. And it's literally just a giant piston feed tape shooting the uh, furnaces around over and over again as they continually get fed by the hopper up here. So it's good stuff, and then as you can see, stuff's already coming out. And yeah, I'm going to show you how to build this one, because this one's nice and compact, but it can hold a lot of furnaces. It's a little bit more expensive, but let's get into it. And you can shut it off, of course, which is nice. Okay, so to build that design, I just like to start off by placing the output chest. So this is where all your items are going to go. Now what you want to do is you want to make... The, yeah, I mean, you can make it bigger than this one, but I'm just going to go like this. And you just want to place hoppers on the bottom. Again, it's kind of an expensive kind of an expensive build here. But I think, I think I'm going to do it like this. Just like this. And yeah, hoppers on the, on the bottom, and you want to make a nice kind of a square out of it, preferably. And just like that, that's not even a square, but that, that's all you need. Just like that, you can get your hoppers going. And again, you can make this a square, you can make it bigger. The pistons can push 12, so if you want to make it that big, that's huge, but go for it. So anyways, you got your base done, and now what you want to do is you actually want to input the pistons that are going to push the furnaces around, and they will just go like this, pretty simple, just like this, on all corners facing the direction ahead of them like that. And then what you want to do is you want to put in furnaces just like this. Oh, let's see, just like that. You want to put one right there. And you want to leave these corners blank like that, just like that. 
And that should be good. You want to make sure that one corner has an extra piston like this, but you want to leave the other three without a, without a furnace on it. Okay, so we got this done, then what you want to do is you want to place a hopper into that middle chest like that, and then you want to place a chest on top of that hopper just like that. And then on top of this middle furnace, you want to place the input for the items, which is just like that, and then go like that with your chest, and that's pretty much the basics of everything. We just need to get the redstone now. Okay, so now you're going to need your redstone components. For this build, I like a lever, a redstone repeater, some redstone, and one observer. That's what you need. It's kind of expensive, but again, it's a lot more compact. A lot of, a lot of, a lot of furnaces here. Okay, so the first thing I like to do is just place blocks above all these furnaces just like this and the pistons. I just think it makes it a lot easier. It's just, it cleans things up a little bit, so we're going to do this quick. And then once you do that, you can go ahead and fill this middle section in like that. And then what you want to do is come to this piston right here and place three blocks out like this. And once you do that, you want to take your observer block, make sure you're looking this way, and you want to place it like this so the red dot is facing this way, and the, the other side is like this, so it's facing this direction. You want to place it like that, and then you want to place a redstone repeater set to four ticks, just like that, and a piece of redstone dust going like this. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is get the timings done. So the first thing you want to do is come over here and place a repeater just like that, set to one tick on this block right here, so it goes above that piston right there. And then you want to come over here and place a repeater set to three ticks right here, facing this direction. And then finally, you want this last side to be set to five ticks, so just like this for mine, Again, you should have those repeaters like that, and then I'm going to place a piece of redstone dust just like that, so it's five ticks to light this to light this piston up. If you if you made yours a little bigger, you can just place a piece of redstone dust here because the piston will be one block farther out, but yeah, just, just make sure it's five ticks to light up, to, to power that piston. And then you can simply just connect all this with redstone dust, just like that, make sure you get it on the edges here. And that should pretty much, that should literally be it. Yeah, that's the entire build, and then you come over here and you place a lever like that, and then you're good to go. And as you can see, the machine will push everything around. I mean, it's kind of complex to make. It's not very easy. But yeah, everything will work perfectly. And yeah, again, it, it does make kind of a lot of noise. It kind of, it's kind of loud. It does cause lag on server, so it's definitely not the best design. But again, if you want to clean it up, you can just go like this. Play some pillars if you want or something. But you guys, you guys know how to clean it up. I'm sure you can improvise. That's just all that you need. Like, yeah, I guess you could also place a lever right here if you want. If you want to do it like this. You just have to move the redstone out, but yeah, it, it's, I mean, yeah, you can improvise it a little bit. You just got the basic piston feed tape mechanic going. And then again, up there, you input the items, so I don't even, I don't even have anything to smelt, but I can just throw that in there. And it'll feed all the, all the furnaces evenly. So as you can see right here, it, it throws about three or four blocks into all of them, which is pretty, I mean, that's pretty consistent. And then down here, you want to place your fuel blocks, which again, I have no fuel. So I'm just going to throw sandstone things in there, and that's, that's about it. And those don't even go in there, so that's tough. But yeah, that's how you build that one. You guys get the gist of it. And you can turn it off. It's got the on-off switch. And make sure you got the hoppers facing the right way. And yeah, that, that one causes a lot, of, a lot of lag. Probably not the best design, but it's it's decent. All right, so this design is definitely my favorite. This is the minecart with uh, chests on them. So once again, on the top, you throw the items that you want to be smelted. So I'll throw the iron in there. And then on the bottom, you want to put your fuel source. Just like that, I got the coal. And then you put that. And then, of course, the hoppers, the chests will fill everything up. It looks like this first furnace right here doesn't quite get it because this minecart goes too fast by it. But uh, it's there for looks. Anyways, I like this design. Let's get into how to build it. Alright, so to build the design, again, I like to start with the output chest, so put the output chest just like that. Then you want to take your hoppers and go out in each direction, however many hoppers there are, that's how many furnaces you're going to have. So I'm just going to go out two on both sides like this, Then you should have this, make sure the hoppers are facing the right way. Then you want to place furnaces on top of all the hoppers, just like this. And then you want to go to the other side of the furnaces and you want to place hoppers going into the back, like this. And then you also want to put them on top. And that will be that. So once you got that done, basically the whole design that we've been using this whole time, you want to come out this side and place two blocks like that. Then up here you want to place one block like this. And then you want to come up here and you want to start placing your minecart rails. So place first your powered rails like this and go this way. And then you're going to want to go one more block on both sides here, just like this. And then you want to place a powered rail block like that. And then same thing on the bottom, just go like this. And connect them across simply like that. Again, their minecart rails are a little glitchy, but eventually you'll get them to work like this. And if your minecart rails connect upwards, like if you place one right here and it connects to this one up here and you can't get it to go sideways, that means that you have to flip your entire build because it only works. This build only works going one direction because Minecraft mechanics. So if once again, if these if these rails right here, if this one connects to this one down here, if I place, if you try placing this and it connects to this one up here, you have to flip your machine and build it going this way instead of going this way. Just because how minecart rail rails work, they're just so broken, it's stupid, but it's just how it is, it's how they're built. You can only build this going one way. So just know that if you're having that problem, you have to flip the entire machine and build it this way, but yeah. Anyways, once you got that done, what you want to do is you want to probably come to the middle of it and give it a little bit of power. So place, place some powered rails like that, and then from the powered rails you're going to want to place a block like this, and then a block going out, and then you want to place a redstone torch just like that. You want to come to the end and place the blocks that will make the minecarts uh, bounce back, so just like that. 
And then again, you want to power these by doing this. Pew, 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 just like that. And then place a redstone torch like that. That'll power both the rails. And then finally down here, you want to grab a lever. All right, so you want to come over here. You want to place a block. That'll make these uh, minecarts bounce back as well. And then you want to place the lever right here on that block. And then you want to place a, uh, place a piece of redstone right there, right below it, just like that. And then you can just go like this. And that'll power both those blocks. So your carts will be able to take off now. Again, you put your carts down. It's kind of a long process, but that entire thing will work. So now when you place those, it's pretty simple. You guys get the mechanics of it. And again, you can kind of customize it a little bit, but this is just the basics. You have two carts going back and forth, feeding the furnaces. Again, you can customize it in so many ways, but this is just, it's the core mechanics that I want to show you guys. And then again, once again, on the bottom, you want to put your fuel source. So we're going to have the bottom get filled up with coal blocks. And then on top, you want to put your cobblestone. So we let that send. And then, yeah, if you did it right, everything should start lighting up. Everything should start filling up. It'll take your items and it'll start distributing them and smelting them. And then, of course, all the hoppers will lead it into this chest right here. Again, you can customize it in a lot of ways, but it's just the basic mechanics, guys. Let the minecarts drive over the hoppers and then they'll fill the furnaces up. It's kind of automated and it's just really easy. And you can, of course, turn it off once everything's full. And it's, it's a nice design. That's probably my favorite. But anyways, yeah, these are the three designs. Steve, open up your eyes, please. You're scaring me. Please. There we go. I had to move to get him to open his eyes. But anyways, yeah, those are the three designs. Hope you all enjoyed. Hopefully these help you out a little bit. I mean, it's kind of a lot to follow. But uh, in the end, it's just a bunch of hoppers going into furnaces and feeding them. That's about it. I mean, just find new ways yourself. I mean, expand upon these. These are just my designs. They're very basic. Like, I don't even know if this is a good design over here. But let's take it. Good stuff. Thank you all so much for watching. It's been Smitty. Hope you all enjoyed. Hopefully you found them useful. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out. Peace out.